We're back. That was a weak crack. It wasn't the best crack. Hit and miss. Yeah, we do it live. What are we about to get into here? A little Zay Jones? A little, lev- little levitation? Zay Jones? Remember, that, remember when he levitated off the ground? Like he, he picked himself up backwards off the ground? You remember that? That was no. last year? Missed it. You missed that? Yeah. For real? What are you talking you about? You got to check it out. Just Google it. Send me the YouTube link. YouTube it. Send me the Zay link. Zay Jones levitation. Yeah. You will not believe your eyes. Okay. It looks fake. Did it really happen? Yeah. I mean, I might have to do this while we're talking. <laughs> Maybe. You ask me a question and I'll get going. That's what I do. I ask you a question. I know you're just going to go on and on. I go <laughs> you got do time. some research. How much time do you bills. need, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Online banking. <laughs> right. Pay the mortgage. How much time you got, buddy? Get some things lined up. Right. Make a couple investments. <laughs> Pick a guy up off the waiver. Uh, <laughs> the so, guy we were probably just talking about. So Zay Jones, you've you've uh, picked him up off a couple waivers the last couple weeks. I have. You've been on here for a couple weeks, telling everybody. Is was it mostly on the Patreon or was it live? I think show? so. I, I don't know how many times I've gotten it in. I got it in a couple times. We mm-hmm. throw so much content out there. I can't keep what's straight. That's why you need to go to Patreon. Make sure you're getting got to get everything. It, you got to get both. We got to offer. For I mean, sure. literally for five bucks a month or more if you'd like to. Um, one of our guys hit us up this week and and increased his pledge. Double down, double down from five to ten bucks a month. And I sent him a message and told him we how much we really appreciate it. And uh, he hit me back and said, you know, I drive a long way for work, and you guys are one of the reasons that helps me keep my sanity in the car. And that just makes you feel good. You know right. what I mean? Like it, it's it's pretty cool that we're not. I'm trying. We're trying to help you with your dynasty team, but at the same time, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We have a good time, and we're just just get, getting it in we're just getting it in and, and we appreciate um each and every one of you appreciate you giving it you know clicking for the downloads but um at the end of the day the uh the people that come over and join the fam and the patreon side of things they they're helping contribute to the bottom line and and just keep this thing uh, going helping showing the appreciation more than you know just saying we appreciate it taking the it like i, I say this all the time as a joke but I, it really for five bucks a month, it probably is a bigger hassle to get your card out and to log on to Patreon and get started and set your account up. And the ten minutes is going to take you to do that. I, I, we know that's basically a bigger hassle that's, than five bucks. That's a way bigger hassle than five bucks. You 10 can't minutes. go into anywhere and not spend five bucks. Right. You can't buy ten Starbucks, minutes for five dollars. Right. Ten five. You know. So, what well, you don't have to do that every month. That's the cool thing about it. It just it's set it up five bucks a month. Hang out with set us. Set it and Patreon. forget it. Set it and forget it. It's like Alan Kamar in your lineup. Or a couple of dollars more. These guys, you know, got a couple guys that really, you know. No, let's not get greedy. Uh, no, no, no greed. <laughs> no greed. Just just help helping us, showing the appreciation because we, we really hope that you guys are enjoying it and we want to keep the good times rolling. Absolutely. And we made this statement like if if something happens and we're just like, all right, you know, and we don't want the, the, the Patreon thing has been a huge success for us. The momentum's there. And when that type of momentum is getting built, it makes it fuels our fire a little bit. Right. But if there comes a time where we're like, all right, well, this, you know, is not necessarily enough meat on the bone financially to continue trading this much time out of our lives so to do much this. Time. To trading that time to do this. Everybody that signed up with Patreon, whether you made whether from the time you sign up to the time we sign off, anybody that signs up and sticks with us, it's getting a, getting the t shirt, you know. Sure. And, from, and, and basically, at that point, you probably just turn into a mailing list where you still email me if you need anything because right. I, we're loyal dudes. Right. Like, if for something happens and we and this thing shuts down, like, anybody that's on the Patreon list, we're going to stay. You, you need me, you send me an email. It's, right. It's going to continue the way it's doing now. It just won't be through that website because that's just how we are. We're not going to... You, you you did your part to try to help us keep going. And if, another, if enough people don't jump on the train to help us keep going and we have to just call this thing one day... Then everybody that's on Patreon, they're gonna they're gonna continue to have they're gonna be tapped in. Sure. Not that you care to be tapped in because it got some bad information flowing every once in a while, but everybody, you know, you're not nobody's you know, undefeated out here. I know. We uh I went I came on here last week and was like, Oh, go buy Matt Mike Williams because it's pretty soon it's gonna not be <laughs> you're not gonna be able to and he comes out and puts an offer and the donut. Oh, the YouTube comments start coming in. Oh, ha, ha, that's a tough week for you, ha, ha, LOL. <laughs> I'm like, you really laughing out loud, Bubba? Okay. <laughs> he People just shit. throw LOLs out there. Sure, sure. For no good reason. I mean, it's, it's fantasy football. It happens in the NFL. Uh, you never people know just like to happen. comment. That's okay. Comment. It helps drive traffic to the to the page if you want to yeah. get it out. Sometimes I feel like people don't even watch the videos. They just read the title and answer it. Yeah. Which that's fine, too. That's fine, too. 
probably still getting a click, still getting a download. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but that good click, the click that matters if you go to the, the ffdynasty.com. It's really easy though, ffdynasty.com. So, T H E F F dynasty.com is easy as it gets. Um, and right there in the middle of the page, all the way to the right, become a patron. You click that box, boom, takes you right to the right link. Five minutes later, you're in the five dollar holler sat- section and you're, uh, you know, get the good stuff, the good stuff, the T-shirt, the extra content, the access to us, all the questions you could you could ask. Like people getting it in, man. Every day there's just a bunch of comments. Bunch oh, we got trade. Posts. We uh, we got trade talk galore. We got uh, we got out the wazoo. We got more trade talk than I could have ever imagined, and I just love every bit of it. Love Rico every bit of it. Is all about. He's in this for the trading. I'm in it for the trade. Always. <laughs> I'm in it for the trade negotiation. I'm living vicariously through some Patreon members right now. Right. I think I said. Oh, you got who for what? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like you did. Yeah, exactly. Right. I, I did. I made a comment earlier to somebody. I think I actually typed it into the Patreon uh, answering somebody's question about Dalvin Cook about what just basically what I said earlier about how this week going to the Bears, if it doesn't work out great for him, then there's gives us another week of buy low window. And. I think I typed in there. I have enough of him on my teams to I can concede a buy low window so all my other buddies can catch up on here. And because we have helped so many people get Dalvin Cook in the last two weeks on Patreon, I felt like I didn't even notice that I typed that like that until afterwards and I reread it and I'd already submitted it. I didn't have I don't have Dalvin Cook on all my teams. I got him on enough, but not enough enough. I'd rather have one him on him on all my teams. But because I've been helping and we've been helping these people get Dalvin Cook, I felt like I had him on more mm-hmm. teams. I'm right. you know, I'm part of this. Right. I'm I'm on this train. Right. So it's been a good time. You guys that are not on pay, on Patreon you're missing def- out. For the value that you're getting for your five bucks. Unheralded. A couple more dollars if you want to throw us our way. You know, you we'll take a couple miles, you take a couple miles. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys just stop talking? Right. <laughs> That's what he says. D- yeah. uh, Dwight, Dwight Yoakum. Yoakum. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm gonna know who Dwight Yoakum of is. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring a little Dwight on the after show. I don't know. We'll get two weeks in a row with uh, with no rap for Big Co's pleasure. So I mean, the five dollars alone is enough to catch me accidentally bursting into country music song last week. <laughs> you know, let's not discourage anyone here. Right. We don't want to turn you away, <laughs> but Jay Wayne played some instrumentals and there was no songs with it, and I had to just pick it up. And I'll, I'll try and make sure that there's some lyrics this week for you guys. All right. <laughs> you don't want Big Co singing. That did not go well. All right, Jay Jones. Zay my name, Zay my name. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. So this is a guy. If you followed this show all the way back to you know years past, last year I was pretty high on Zay Jones coming out of college. How could you not be? Really like well, what I, saw I mean, from there him. was some there was some haters. But oh, well, he's a compiler. We were we were big on the Zay Jones. I don't understand. I'm a, this, I hate bringing this dude's name up, but Matt Kelly, he doesn't like Zay Jones, and I don't know why. Because if you look at his player profiler page, those the numbers jump up like a dang video game. The, 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 the little bars of all the metrics, they just pew, 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 shoot up. Well, his, his, oh, well, he's a compiler. That's because Matt Kelly's game is picking somebody out of the – he wants to find a really good athlete that can he can say is really good that actually didn't do anything. So when he does blow up, he can say, hey, that was my guy. That's his game. We get it. I've seen it, but I've seen it played out many, many times. But the funny thing is, is to me, is like somebody that he likes – the player profile comp is of a stud. Like mm-hmm. if he likes a guy, it comps out to be DeAndre Hopkins. Mm-hmm. But if he doesn't like a guy, it comps out to be a guy that played like three snaps 30 years ago. It's so funny the way he manipulates the way that that comp, the actual true yeah. comp of Guess somebody. who Zay Jones's comp is? Trey McBride. Right. Who is Trey yeah. McBride? You don't even but know. type in somebody very similar that he likes. Right. And all of a sudden, I mean, who's Richie James's comp? Or somebody like that, that he just, oh, he's, you know, the next great one. Uh, Jerry Rice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, who is it? Let's see. Ted Ginn. Eh. Okay. Well, I just picked Richie Ted James. Ginn. I don't know if he likes Richie James or not. He ain't that fast. I don't know if he likes Richie James or not. I was just he trying must to not. Find, I was just trying to think of a guy. He, Jerry he's, Rice. <laughs> he's a big no-name guy. If he if he jumps well and yeah. has a good broad jump and he runs fast, then he's going to be a Matt Kelly guy until he does good. Well... Although he hates Zay Jones, that's not the only reason that I like Zay Jones. Right. It is a plus. It does help. Um, but, I mean, just back to the college game, he caught so many balls. 399. Mm-hmm. Or was it 499? 399. I want to make sure I got that right. 
Three hundred ninety nine balls. Jeez. He lines up all over the field, left, right, slot. He can make circus one handed catches. He was. I thought he was a willing blocker. I liked his work ethic. He comes from an NFL football family, so loved all these things. Had the had the draft pedigree. I think it was a second round pick. Second second round pick. Boom. And so I, I was excited about this guy. I mean, he's fast. He's agile. He's got burst and. I well, like what else are you looking for in a prospect, you know? Mm-hmm. And then he just hasn't quite got it together up to this point. He had the terrible off season, but the Bills stuck with him. I thought that was a huge win yeah. for him, a yeah. huge vote of confidence. Had the problem in the hotel room, right? Thought it was a cigarette. Oh turned out, boy, turned out it was the LSD pill or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was probably some fake marijuana or uh, something, something like that. Some uh, K two. Mm. As the kids, the spice, as the kids like to call Just it. Just get the real stuff. Okay? Right. Uh, so, But he's really been coming on lately. Uh, very strong. He had a, p- a pretty good game in week 11. And he seems, what he, what he was doing in college is finally starting to translate into the NFL, right? You see him lining up all over the field, both sides. You see him in the slot. He's got 189 routes ran out of the slot, which is about 55% of his snaps. So, I mean, half his snaps are in the slot. The other half are all over the place. They're sending him in motion a lot. Like you see him coming across a formation, you see him shifting uh, before the, the the play snaps, and they're manufacturing some short looks for him, right? Which is to me establishing a bit of a PPR floor here. Sure, uh, he seems to be running a variety of routes. There's the short, intermediate outs and whips. He turned what looked like a shallow cross into a deep corner or something. I'm not really sure what they call that route, but he had Buster Screen all turned around. Mm-hmm. Had a huge 33-yard catch uh, last week in that game. He was working Screen all day. Uh, he burned him on his TD catch, uh, got past him, sat down between two defenders. Uh, Matt Barkley threw a really good low ball. He went down and dug it out, got the score. And it just it just seems like he's... He's coming along. Now, he's not perfect. He's still making some young mistakes. Made a bonehead play uh, where he ran a nice little whip route, caught it, got the first down, and he was like three yards from the end zone and decided to try and dive. Well, there's three NFL defenders right there. You're not, you're not gonna, it's not going to work, right? <laughs> so they, they cause a fumble because that's what they get paid to do. And uh, luckily for the Bills, they got the fumble recovery in the end zone for the touchdown. Right. Uh, and then there was an, but like, come on, man, you don't need to be, what are you doing? He's, don't die for that. He's right? caught up in the moment. He is. He's caught up. He's young. He's still raw. You know, mm-hmm. he's still, he's still putting it together. And then there's another play a little bit later in that game, I think, where he, he kind of, he ran an out route for a completion, but it was one yard short of the first down. I don't know if, if on third and nine, you got an eight yard play plan and you want to get one yard a yak or I don't know what. If he made the mistake or what, he's got a brand new quarterback back there with him. I don't know if that's necessarily a mistake or his right. or not, but it turned into fourth and one. Yeah. I think they got a false start or something, fourth and six. They Bums miss a fifty away. yard miss a fifty four yard field goal. Okay. Uh so you know, I you know, but he bounced back from that. He comes back, has, has finds a nice spot in the zone to convert it convert a first down on the next possession. So you, you see him out there doing good things. He was really good against the zone in, in college. He's really good at working that short intermediate stuff, compiling catches. And that's that's what I'm looking for from an NFL player. That's not, you know, I'm not saying this guy's going to be a number one dude, but sure. he has a PPR floor that I think could be very valuable for your fantasy team. Well, first of all, sign me up for a compiler. Right. Give me Why somebody. Is that a bad thing? Sign me up for somebody that's so good that their college team thinks they need to throw it to him every play. It's only so, bad if you say it like this. He's a compiler. Right. Then exactly. it sounds only, bad. Yeah. But if you say he's a compiler, <laughs> you're like, oh, shit, yeah. I love it. I love it. The inflection is the everything. Tone, man. Yeah, I love it. So sign me up for the guy who whose team thinks they need to give it to him every time they get a chance to, to give them the best chance to win the game. Right. Sign me up for that guy. Here's Zay Jones' biggest problem so far. He's a Buffalo Bill. <laughs> okay, so that's true. That's what's wrong that's, with Zay Jones. That's true. A freshman year, you know, rookie year in the NFL, not so hot. He's a Buffalo Bill. What can you do? They got Tyrod. He's not interested in passing a ton. No, he's, he's not all about game. throwing the ball. Shady's just sustaining drives. The defense is playing well. They make the playoffs. He's, right. He's the, the the deep ball wasn't on par for for uh t- t- Tyrod Tyrod. Tarot, right. That's, uh, that's his name. Last year, it seemed it seemed a little off, and there was 
people were just crushing Zay Jones because he was getting targets and couldn't catch any of them. Yeah. But, like, these balls were out of bounds. These, most of these balls were uncatchable. Like, yeah. quit knocking this dude right. for not being able to catch an uncatchable ball. <laughs> true. True. But, no, the, the haters are out there. Yeah. For sure. Haters are thick. So, Zay Jones, the Buffalo Bill, tough to get consistent, quality, catchable targets. It is. He could be the next Robert Woods. He could be the next guy that gets out of Buffalo and goes to really flourish in a team that can successfully throw the ball in a catchable area. Does he need to leave Buffalo to be successful? I'm not saying he does. I'm not saying it's going to take four years to get him out of there and find a new team before he's actually successful. I don't think he needs to leave Buffalo either. I mean, they're in a tough spot this year, right? They're all oh, so could, tough. And Josh Allen looked look decent. He looks showing promise. Josh Allen's promise is mostly in his threat of his cannon cannon and his running like josh allen the best thing for for zay jones right now is matt barkley has been in the rent been in the league for almost 10 years now or however many years long time veteran backup and he knows how to get in there and complete a pass and there was a guy on twitter i forget who it was now but he was like, watch out for Zay Jones this week because Matt Barkley is all about the slot receiver and he's going to pepper him with targets. And that's kind of what happened. Um, it was against the Jets team who just cannot get out of their own way right now. So I wouldn't look for that. Maybe next week again. Um, but once the, if Barkley – what are they, I think they're in a bye week this week. They, I, are they not in a bye week this week? Um, I'll I look that up right quick. My bad. I, I'm pretty sure they're going into the bye and they expect maybe – um, Josh Allen to play the week after, uh, but yeah, I think you're right. So whether they're in a buy or not, yeah, the Bills are on a buy. Okay, Bills, Browns, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets, Forty ers Whew. Right, most of the yeah. Okay, Six a lot of, of NFC East teams. That's what I was thinking. So you can't play Zay Jones this week on a buy. Next week, Matt Barkley is probably on the bench. Josh Allen's in there, and I don't look for those consistent catchable targets. It's just a situation thing. So here we are in Dynasty Fantasy Football playing the game that we are here to play. And Zay Jones, while he has, you know, one nice real one real nice game here, eight for ninety three and a touch. Zay you, you know Jason's been doing all he could do to tell you the last month. Casey too. Casey brought him up and was like Look out for Zay Jones. He, he right. brought him up a while ago right. this season. And but I remember you recently saying, Hey, I've been giving this guy off all my <laughs> waiver wires. You know. I basically it, moved on from Kelvin Benjamin and picked up Zay Jones. That's where I had to cut ties with there all you the go. lies. You gotta do what you gotta do. And grab this PPR floor. Gotta and make get rid big of this treasure. Gotta make big boy decisions. Right. And and Zay Jones is a really nice pickup right now. He's the flavor of the week, but we got to think about how the NFL plays out. Obviously, I on a bye week can catch zero passes this week because that's funny. And then the next week, Josh Allen comes back in there. Don't look for him to tear it up. So if you'd picked him up in the last month, like Jay Wayne and Casey was telling you to, fantastic. If you can pick him up right now, still on the cheap because he's Zay Jones and he plays for Buffalo Bills, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And if somebody right now is kind of squeezing onto him because he just had eight for 93 in a touch and that's the way people play fantasy football, yep. then in two weeks, let's revisit this conversation. Because that's what, you know, I, I I would be willing to bet money he doesn't come anywhere close to eight for 93 and a touch when Josh Allen's back in there in the first week. And I would be, that my point was that I was going to say was I would be willing to bet money that once Matt Barkley had two, if he continued to play, if Josh Allen really does have that bad arm situation, that's, the coaches are thinking he's going to come back. When it originally happened, they were talking about maybe Tommy John or something, and he doesn't play for two years. So I don't know when to actually expect Josh Allen back. But... If Matt Barkley played for two or three games, it's just like every other backup quarterback. When you got a quarterback change that comes in, you don't. The defense doesn't. The the Jets even said this week that the defense on the Jets they're like we didn't really plan for Barkley too much, so they didn't go back and look through the tape of Barkley's best games to see where he liked to throw the ball. If Barkley was to quarterback this team for two or three more games, I bet the defense would figure out okay, he likes to throw it to Zay Jones, you know, uh, and try to make it harder on him. But the Jets did nothing to make it hard on the Bills this game. So you don't want to get stuck in this one-week window and go pay too much for Zay Jones right now. While we're telling you to get Zay Jones, the reason we want you to get Zay Jones is because you got to pay minimal for him. And if you if somebody that actually has him right now wants to squeeze a little too tight, let's play it in the two- or three-week window going forward, and I bet that grip will loosen up in a week or two. Yeah, I don't I don't know that anyone's squeezing too tight. So, I mean, I think he's 
he could probably acquire him fairly easy. And so Josh Allen has been practicing. Roto World says he's going to play week 12. So okay. he must because they're always right. Uh, but it looks like it anyway. That was a joke. But it, it looks like uh, Josh Allen's coming back. But, I mean, looking at the targets for the first six weeks of the season for Zay Jones, which is when Josh Allen was in there, it was 6-3-1 against Minnesota, which they just went in there and slapped the boys up. Right. Didn't need to throw the ball, I guess. Seven the next week against Green Bay, four versus Tennessee, and then eight versus Houston. So in his last game with Josh Allen, he had eight targets, three of which were red zone targets. Just so happens he only caught three of them for 35 yards. Yeah, we'll take three red zone targets. Um, but had a touchdown, too, in that game in week six. So, I mean, I'm but not going to sit. That was a Josh Allen game? Yep. Did he get hurt that game and then the backup came in through those balls to him? That's That's possible. Because right, he did, so let's see, he only had, he had 17 attempts in, the in week six. And the so the backup he, had how many? He, de- he definitely got hurt. Who who even played that week for him? Was it Derek Anderson? I don't think Derek Anderson was on the team yet. It I think maybe been, Peterman might have come in. Right, which I can't even click on his name for the Bills because they just cut him. Right. Um, so, you yeah, check, he you, didn't play you, week six. You check that theory for us. Um, but, that I mean, he had... Other games with Josh Allen besides that game where he caught where he had more than a few targets and you know they're just figuring it out. So yeah, Peterman came in and threw twelve balls that game. So that was uh let let's play this game here. If you're if you're looking to acquire some Zay Jones right now, would you? Okay, I I took the t- last two weeks of scores because obviously he crushed it this past week with you know 30 points but the last two weeks average them together he's averaging 15 points 14 and a half points for the last two weeks puts him in a range of some guys who's averaging so would you rather have say jones or where am i gonna go here first i'm gonna give you a i'm gonna toss you a a, a nice one to hit out of the whole hit out of the park or am i gonna throw a, a high stinky <laughs> cheese at you <laughs> Give you the high stinky. I cheese. lay off the high cheese. I don't understand why players can't lay off. It's the a high vision cheese. thing, man. If it's eye level, don't swing at it. It does. It's not eye level right away, man. That man, who's Come got on, a who's like got it. a rising fastball? <laughs> All the good ones. Man, that shit comes to eye level, and they think, oh, I can see it. I can swing at it. That's but my mind was always like, eyes. I'm not swinging at this ball. Remember that's Rosenbagger? Eye level. Rosenbagger hit him with the high stinky cheese. I get the that Blake can't lay off the high cheese. I can. What do you got? Uh, Josh Doxson. Josh Doxson. First round pick, Josh Doxson. You want Zay Jones or Josh Doxson? Man, Josh is coming on here, mm-hmm. isn't he? What's he got going on here? Let's mm-hmm. see. A couple four touchdowns. Four for four. Everybody three else on the team six. Hurt. Man, nobody likes Washington. Nobody likes Alex Smith. Yep. Ah, uh, this is a toughie. They're about the same. They're the same size, 6'2", 200, same age. Got uh, nah, Zay Jones is three years younger than Josh Doxson. This is true. I stand Josh corrected. Josh Doxson's 26. Yeah. Uh, Josh Doxson's hashtag really old. And he's got these Achilles issues in the past, some chronic tendonitis in his Achilles that <laughs> could reoccur. Man, but I've always been a proponent of Josh Doxson because he's such a downfield threat. They're just different players, man. He's like, He's the guy that's going to make your play in one and make your day in one play. And Zay Jones to. is going to compile some catches. But he's with a quarterback that can't give you his play in one day unless he's getting coached up by Andy Reid. Hey, most 20 yard plus yard completions last year from Alex Smith. Well, Not of course. really carrying over this year, but it's a new system. Give my man a break. He's, he's good. They, hey, they're, they're top of the NFC East, aren't they? Crushing well, it's it. Not Redskins. Alex Smith's fault. <laughs> they give up 500 yards. That's crazy. Um, man. Okay, so I threw the high stinky cheese at you, and that's a toughie. We'll back off a little if, bit. If you, Let me pump the brakes on that. Doxson's toughie, obviously. I think I, th- I, th- I think it's just two different types of players, you know? Well, they both play wide receiver, and they both are going to get you fantasy PPR points. One's going to get you more. One's going to get you less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Zay Jones. There it is. He made it. Thank you very much. Give me the younger guy on the up. Lesson and here's history. the deal. Here's how we play this. 
There is no ding, ding, ding sound here because this is Dynasty Fantasy Football, and you I don't know what the right answer is either. We're just having a good time. Right. I don't know. Who does? Zay Jones. Okay, he's taking Zay Jones. I got one more good one for you. All right. Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon? Yeah. Are you going to commit? Yeah. To not commit? I got to take Josh Gordon. Really? If I could go get Josh Gordon with Zay Jones right now, I'd do that in a heartbeat. Okay. Absolutely. That dude's coming on. All right. I mean, how, uh, he does play with Tommy. I wanted to take Josh Doxon for a second because I think he could be a number one dude. I just don't know that. I just haven't seen that from him. You've seen Josh Gordon be well, great. Well, Doxon's been hurt. We can make that excuse for people that's been hurt, but we he, can't make it for Doxon. He hasn't been hurt for like a year and a half. Well, he was hurt. He was. And then there takes time. But between, Josh Gordon was real hurt. You sometimes know, mentally, between hurt. He still and, might be mentally hurt. Sometimes between hurt and not hurt. Is takes time. I'll take Josh Gordon. Okay, I'll take Josh Gordon over Josh Doxson in a heartbeat. I'll take him. Well, the whole. I mean, that's the <laughs> whole thing. Oh, well, let's not pretend like Zay Jones didn't almost jump out of a window and his brother saved his life, allegedly. But you also have Josh Gordon, who's still running late to practices on the Patriot side of things, and could at any moment he's coming on strong. He's, he's coming running on late st- to practice. Sure, yeah, man. They wanted to bench him two weeks ago. You don't remember that? They said that he was late. Yes. They'll cut a dude for that shit. I know. That's what I'm saying. Two times in the same week, he was late, and they were supposed to cut him, but they're like, man, we really need to win this week. This is a tough matchup. Mm-hmm. And they played him anyway. They said they were going to punish him punish him, and bench him. He was out there first snap. He caught the first ball of the game, I think. And they're like, <laughs> Even the announcers were like, well, we don't know what to do with this one. He's supposed to be not in the game right, right. now. Right. Patriots need to win, and they know it. If they were like 8-0 no at the time, they probably would have benched him, but they had had a Couple, dropped a couple of losses earlier Ronk's in the been season. been out. Sure. They needed him. Missing weapons. So that's what I was saying is, you know, Zay Jones' problems aside, there's only been one of them documented, allegedly. And now we have – you're. I'm, I'm putting him up against Mr. Josh Gordon. Like, he's coming on strong. He's coming on strong. Oh, my God, he's not a Patriot anymore. Like, that could happen. That could happen, but the price is – Josh Gordon used to be so much more expensive. Oh, it's not even close. Know? I'm just – yeah. but to, you know. I'll take Josh Gordon. Okay. Fair enough. I don't want to hit you with any more high sticky cheese because right. this is tough. I mean, this is Zay Jones after all. We've we right, took him. Right. We've been we've been preaching for we've a month to discussion. get him off the clearance rack. He's right. out of the bargain bin, and now all of a sudden we're putting him up against Josh Doxson and right. you know, Mister One More Problem, and I'm never playing again. Josh Gordon. Right. That's that's the only reason Zay Jones seems. I feel comfortable playing Josh Gordon in my lineup right now. I, I don't know that I want to put Jay Jones Zay Jones in there oh, or Josh Doxson really. I agree. I have had Josh Doxson in one lineup for two weeks getting hey, touchdowns. Dire straits, man. Six hey. spies in a week is tough. Got to do what you got to do, right? Injuries. It's hard out there for a pimp. <laughs> All right. You got anything else on Zay Jones? You got any more players you want to put them up against? You mentioned a little Nelson Aguilar. That's a good one. Nelson Aguilar. We got a little paid dude uh-huh. on on a, well, what what should have been a pretty good offense. It tailed off. The Eagles, well, versus, are, Eagles struggling. Versus Dallas this week, but... Monster underdog, underdogs to the Saints this week too, like minus nine. I think I got to stick with Aguilar. I mean, he's if Zay Jones could become Nelson Aguilar, then we got to win here. You yeah, know? If yeah. He could, if he could make it to where he gets paid by a team and is in a good offense with a good quarterback, granted, bunch of options they like to spread it around. But, sure. But, yeah, fair uh, enough. If, if we were talking about Aguilar. At the end of last season, we've had this would be a much chippier conversation mm-hmm. about Aguilar. He, you know, he's and he the, came out hot with no Alshon, but then you throw Alshon in there and he's a beast. Sure, and then you know the quarterback's coming back from knee injury, started kind of slow, has really come on strong, missed some and, games, and then all of a sudden they bring in Golden Tate and it's kind of crowded over there. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I I guess it's a good move by them. I don't think Golden Tate will be an Eagle next year. He's in the indie, you know. They assumed his contract from Detroit. He was on the last year of his deal, so yeah, he'll be a free agent next year. I don't think they sign him. Well, they could. They're still. I, I mean, they, they could spend I mean, a lot of money on the D line, but even in the offensive line. But even still, they still got. They don't have that twenty five million dollar quarterback salary to pay. So they they got that's they got true. money to throw around. That's true. All right. Well, that's enough about Zay Jones as far as I agree. One or one or the other. It's. It's tough out there, like you said. We just picked him off off the bargain bin. Wiz is a clearance rack player. We've been giving you for three or four weeks now, and he goes eighty for ninety for a, eight for ninety for a touch, and then 
you're going to have that value spike. And that's why Jay Wayne and Casey were telling you to get him for the last month because you didn't have to pay for that value spike. And now you might have to. Right. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take another quick break. We'll be back and wrap this thing up with a little uh, recap of, uh, we'll revisit a little Aaron Jones. Mid-level boss. For your pleasure. Looking for a promotion. We'll be back. <laughs> 